Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and welcome to a super duper exciting unboxing and bagging video and this is sponsored by and sent to me from New Craft Day. Um, they reached out to me to ask if I wanted to do a review of some of their products and I had a look on their website and I cannot remember for the life of me what I picked out but I did pick out some um, some bits and so I've literally just opened the packet um, and covered my name and address with one of those inky pens that just seems to have gone everywhere so um, yeah if you spot any black smudges then it's just the ink that's um, decided to go all over my hands so I have split the bag open already um, just to make it a little easier and so let's grab out the bits that I seem to have chosen. So let's move that out of the way, the rustly packet. So I have three items. So I have two diamond paintings and I have a cross stitch. So I'm going to show you the cross stitch um, first. So this is a, um, it's a Harry Potter themed one and it's a bookshelf. Now, if you like diamond painting, cross stitching is exactly the same, but with thread. Um, so the concept is exactly the same. I cross stitched before I started diamond painting. So I'm quite okay with, um, with, with this. And I wanted to do a, I wanted to have a look at this one, but we've got a Harry Potter themed bedroom. So I thought this would be perfect. I've done a big Harry Potter themed, um, diamond painting to go in the room, but I also wanted something else crafty wise. And so I thought a cross stitch might be perfect. So this is a little bookshelf and it's got some books and a wand, um, some jelly beans, the Bertie Bots Every Flavoured Beans. We've got a quill, we've got a Hogwarts banner, we've got a cauldron, a little um, photo frame with Hermione, Harry and Ron um, and some more books. So I'm going to see how this kit comes. Let's get it out of the packet. Move the packaging out of the way because it's going to be too rusty otherwise. So... We have our pattern. Now, I'm not too sure if this is a um, class as accounted or a stamped cross stitch. Let's see. Um, it's stamped because the colours are already on the Ada, which is the, the fabric. There are 38 different colours in this, and I'm not even sure if I've got this up the right way. I assume that I have. I can't quite tell. Yeah, because this is the Hogwarts banner, I think. So yeah, this will be interesting. Now, this is a big canvas. I'm not too sure what the stitch count is on this. Uh, does it say on here? No, does it say on the bag? Let's see. It says, I think it's 11 count. So that means there's 11 stitches per inch per inch. I normally work on a 14 stitch, a 14 count stitch. So um, this should take a little less time. Um, but the more, um, the less stitches there are, um, the less definition I'm going to get. So we'll see how this comes out. So this is a 40 by 60. And I'm super excited to get this started to see how this comes out. So we've got the Ada. We've also got a huge printed. Actually, this might even be the same size as this are uh, slightly smaller um but it's huge so um, i'm gonna have no issue seeing where the colors need to go on this massive chart as well there are also instructions on um how to cross stitch if you didn't know um and then also cleaning maintenance instructions so actually that's pretty that's pretty good and then in there we get a a little tool kit so there are a bunch of needles um there's a little thumb thimble and also a um a floss threader and then let's take a look at the colors of the floss as well so oh, there's multiple of those and there's one of those and then there should be one of these on the card as well i have a spare card as well so if i need to um ah so they've actually put it on two so here are the colors um of the kit so it's a lot of browns in here as i expected when i saw the photo um a lot of browns but there's a pop of blue a pop of green um a pop of orange and then we've got this burgundy color which i assume is for gryffindor 
um, this wine colour and then a scheme of black as well. So yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, it's going to be, um, cross stitch takes a lot longer than um, diamond painting does. So this is going to take a while um, to get started and get finished. But um, I am excited to, oops, I'm excited to um, get this get this all done or at least get it started so I would imagine that um I'm not I'm not thinking I'm gonna have it done um within a few months I would have thought maybe hopefully by the end of this year it will be completed um as I said, because it's an 11 count actually it will take less time than um what I'm used to so yeah I got the um that cross stitch kit then um I also had um oh this is the disney villains one so i also got this one it's all coming back to me now so this one is a 30 by 40 canvas which is your standard size and it is a very very creased so let's try and roll this back so you can see it properly it is a poured glue um you know that by the um the clear cover on it and so we have mm, that is not overly sticky i mean it's lifting off but i've had much stickier canvases than that so that concerns me a little um but i'll have to obviously start it and then see how i get on um with it staying stuck over time so we have um yeah, we have a 30 by 40. There are 24 colours in this and we've got the legend top and bottom. And then we get the standard um, toolkit in there. <coughs> your pen and your tray and your wax. And then the, the drills are actually, these are round drills. Let's get these open. And they are already in their own individual zippy bags so if you don't have a storage um, system for your drills um, then actually keeping them in these bags um, isn't too much of a, a problem certainly better than the bags that you have to cut open so yeah they don't look too bad either I can't see any um, I can't see any trash in there at all they look clean there's some good there's some good cuts on them as well so let's just test another one Oh, we've got a couple of different colours in that one. So there's some hitchhikers in there. Um, but in terms of in terms of trash, I can't see anything in there. So it looks it looks good quality, the drills anyway at least. So we'll have to see how we get on with that canvas. Um, so yeah, I got that one. Let's pop that out of the way. And then this one here. Ah, I remember. This is a multi-canvas one. So I'm interested to see how this is done and whether it's on... Ah, okay, so it's on one... It comes as one canvas. Oh, let's unroll it all the way. So it comes as one canvas. This is never going to fit. Um, in shot and then the idea is that you trim them you trim them down and actually have them as separate panels so they would be closer together they'd be about half inch maybe apart um now it does there is enough space around as well if if um you wanted to mount them onto some wood battens and yeah so it's 45 by 95 but i assume that that is the that's going to be that width and that height. So I would have thought it'd probably take a good um, six or seven centimetres off of each way, or certainly more for these ones, because these panels are smaller on the end. This is going to be exciting. This is something new um, to, to try out, where it's got multi-panels. And to be fair, this looks like it's going to be done very quickly um, because of the, the smaller areas. So let's test out the... Let's test out the canvas. Let's have a little look at the stick. Yeah, that's already sticky, stickier than the other one. So 
um i'm i don't have an issue with that being a problem we have in this one 25 colors and the 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 drill field is very legible i don't anticipate any any issues we've been able to see those um when i'm completing this and we have got the legend top and bottom as well um which i really prefer to have so that is the canvas and then let's take a look at the drill so standard toolkit again um on this one again it's a round drill and let's have a little look and again they are already in the little bags which like i said i much prefer so let's take a look at these ones i would imagine they might be coming from the same manufacturer um i would have thought um they look similar in terms of the the printed um the little printed thing at the bottom of the canvas um they both have the same thing on so i would have thought the drills would be very similar Again, I can't see any trash in there. Um, they all look nice and clean. And um, there's some good facets on it as well. So I'm hoping for a good bit of sparkle. Um, let's have a look at the... I didn't look at the colours in full on this one. You can see them... Uh, this is for the Disney villain one. You can see them here. So there's some lovely purples, some pinks, some reds. Obviously, the colours are set um, based on the characters anyway. So, And then these ones um let's see what colors we've got we've got some whites and what does that say does that say 23 hmm mm, okay so the bags have got so that says 25 that says 10 24 22 22 21 20 nice okay so this is a bit weird so some of them have the numbers printed on the bags um nice and legible so that's fine um some of them have so there's two different ones there's one with the diamond with the number on there's one with the number just in a in red in a circle there's quite a bit of um quite a few hitchhikers in that one um, and then there's also ones that have just a um, a sticky um, kind of like price label on them. Um, I'm not really sure what the difference is and why that is, whether they've run out of bags. I don't know. But yeah, it's a bit random. But this one here, I assume that is number 23 because 22, 24, 25, um, I think that must be 23. Um, but it doesn't actually have a printed number on it. So whether they run out of bag 23 bags or whether they, I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit weird, but um, I'm looking forward to getting this one kitted up and ready anyway. We'll see. We'll see how the quality comes out. We'll see whether the um, that causes any issues with with numbers. Hopefully it'll all correspond once I start kitting up um, and I won't find any issues. But I just wanted to thank New Craft Day for sending these to me for review. I'm super excited to actually test the products out. That's the whole point. It's all right doing an unboxing, but actually um, coming back and doing a review video um, of once the, the project is complete. So yeah, I have this um, this a Disney one um, or the, the Fab Five one as it were. Then I have the um, I have the Disney Villains one. And then obviously not forgetting, I also have the um, the Harry Potter cross stitch as well to get started. So thanks very much for joining me for today's video. If you've enjoyed this unboxing, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, goodness me. Obviously, I'm too excited to get these open. I can't even speak anymore. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, it really would mean the world to me to, to grow a community and a following here um, on YouTube. And I will um, see you, say hello in the comments as well. Um, I'd love to get to know a few of you um, out there in the diamond painting community. So um, I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.